aka Toshri Yet. And I'm back with another video. And today I'm reacting to Gideon is Bad. My personal thoughts. Gideon is a good YouTuber and I like his videos. He's funny and he doesn't take it too far. But let's see what this person has to say. You can hit more pins. Watch this. Gideon, a YouTuber who has exploded in popularity over the last year or so. And a few days ago, I saw a link to one of his videos, and, well, I've never actually seen one before, but I figured I've seen this guy's name a million times at this point. Might as well see what all the hype's about. And, uh, after watching a couple of his videos, uh, I do not understand the appeal. Now, if you don't know who Gideon is, he is basically one of those public harassment channels. Those channels that I thought died, like, Really? Why he's so rude? So blunt. Public harassment channels. He's not one of them. Like the other, like people that be like really harassing people. Like they be dragging it, but he he don't be dragging. Like he be knowing limits and stuff. He be knowing limits six years ago in 2016 but uh, apparently they're still alive and well now this guy has been the center of some drama recently drama that i really don't know about nor do i really care about whatsoever so that's not what i'm going to be focusing on i'm just going to be talking about his content which uh i do not like now his videos are very very obviously directed towards children only people who are going to find this kind of stuff funny and like i said his content basically just boils down to going around and messing with people and it's not always a huge deal Deal, but sometimes I think he takes it a little too far and we're gonna see that in the video we're gonna be touching on today I went bowling with a coconut let's begin please subscribe so basically there's, there's like this big bowling tournament going on like in the hood and like they're having like this big pot and everything and you have to actually pay to enter and I feel like a couple of them are on PEDs and stuff like that so I feel like I'm justified in using coconuts to my advantage because since they're cheating I might as well cheat too, you know, make the plane feel even. So there you go. That's basically the premise of this video. He's going to go to a few bowling tournaments and uh, bowl the coconuts. And while that has the potential to be a hilarious video, if you like talk to the tournament director and got permission and stuff and did it the right way, none of that happens and it just turns it. What's the fun of that though, if you did it the right way? It's no fun in it. I mean, it's like, it's kind of staged. Like, it's more fun when you see like the raw reaction. Like, you feel me? to just him using people's passion and hobbies like Gideon is not like a stage YouTuber type stuff so against them to exploit them and basically just make fun of them for YouTube money pretty best for every single video how you doing can I get a lane how's the competition here I'm not gonna lie I average a 280 so I have to be around the best of the best like it brings it out of me gosh I'm in the midst of a legend so so nice to meet you. I was wondering, uh, can you do me a favor? Could you help me put on my PBA finger condoms? Sir, you just put like a finger hold down like you I know, but I need a pro's touch. You're a Hall of Famer. I'm not gonna lie, my finger herpes been flaring up lately, so I don't want to contaminate the bowling balls. All right, so I'm gonna try and start off on a positive. I chose this video for a reason. I don't think it's the worst video I could have chosen. I think there's probably videos that I saw that would paint him in a worse light. But I chose this because I think he's actually kind of funny at points during this without doing anything that really affects anybody. Like, I think this dialogue was kind of funny and witty on his part, but it's just what comes after that kind of detracts from a lot of this. And I'm bringing this up because I think this guy could be a really successful YouTuber and be funny without, you know, going and messing up a bowling alley or attacking people in a way for just doing what they enjoy doing. Obviously, the guy has found a lot of success, and most of that is going to be due to his personality, not the content. Just my opinion, I think there's a better way for him to go forward. You can hit more pins. Watch this. How is he messing up the bowling alley? All he's doing is bowling with fruits. It's no destruction. <laughs> I can still get a 280 even if I get a spare on the first one. Keep blowing it for me. Even counted, bro. We're free. Oh, we're laying 29. I don't know if you guys have like PBA regulated balls, but like my balls didn't come back. All right, so here is where the video starts to go downward and it only gets worse, especially when he goes to the next bowling alley. Once again, this could be hilarious if he just asked if he could do this. They probably would have said no, but it would be a funny video to see people's reaction to somebody bowling with a coconut. But you take the risk of damaging somebody's property. I mean, I can't imagine a bowling alley is really meant to uh, be transporting a coconut. You know, this is just doing 
something for your own personal gain, not even thinking what you might be doing to somebody's job. You know, somebody owns this bowling alley and is probably reliant on it, but I doubt that was a thought when he made this video or when he did the watermelon one he did before this. And it just all goes back to targeting kids with this kind of content. You tell a 12 year old that you might be damaging somebody's bowling lane by doing this, they're not gonna care. They're gonna say, uh, but it's funny and my favorite YouTuber's doing it, so why should it matter? Are you here for the tournament? Oh yeah, you should definitely come in. I'm about to put on a show. All right, so in the first few minutes of the second bowling alley, he's just walking around talking to people, and a lot of it is funny. It's not all bad, you know. He's just walking around talking to people about his finger condoms and stuff. Kind of gets repetitive. He kind of makes the same jokes over and over again, but it's nothing bad. And if it would have just stopped at that, then I would understand this kind of video. Sure, it's not my kind of content, but there is an audience for it. Just do it without damaging other people's property. I mean, that seems like a pretty easy objective to go through with. With. You know, you're messing with other people's tournament. Like you said, there's money on the line. Rolling a coconut down a bowling lane is going to mess it up for a competition. And a lot of people, and probably most of the people who are going to be watching one of Gideon's videos, are going to say, who cares? And, well, that's exactly why Gideon chose something like a bowling tournament. That's why he chooses things like renaissance fairs or vegan restaurants. These are things he knows people aren't going to care if you make fun of. He doesn't choose anything that is widely liked on the internet or anything like that. He chooses things that are socially seen as weird or unusual. And it's smart on his end, but it's kind of a crappy thing to do. Nobody's gonna call him out for messing up the oil on a bowling lane because who knows about the oil on a bowling lane that's watching this guy's videos. They're all kids. They're not gonna know. This is the reason his content works is because he chooses things like this. Ten minutes Once again, just stuff like this, you know, purposefully trying to mess people up because you think it's funny. I will admit, I do kind of think a lot of these guys start to overreact. Another reason why I chose this video, I think it shows both sides. He's doing this because he knows people in certain situations are going to react to stuff maybe a bit more than they should but look at it objectively there's nothing wrong with kind of getting a little bit annoyed at somebody yelling while you're trying to you know get ready for a competition i mean you're at a football game what are you gonna do to try and throw people off make a bunch of noise but like, I feel like I've said a million times, it's bowling, so who cares if they get to warm up, right? So then he's asked to leave multiple times because he keeps going over and talking to people when they've kind of made it clear that they don't want to talk to him. And, well, he doesn't leave and he throws the coconut down the lane anyways. They call the cops, which I think is probably a bit of an overreaction. But again, it's just, I'm going to stop repeating myself after this, but is this really what you want to be known for? I mean, apparently it is. Going out and ruining somebody's day, making them angry just to show it off to a bunch of middle schoolers. It's so easy when you're just watching a video and you're thinking, oh, what a dumb bowler getting mad at a dude just having fun. It's easy to say that, but what if it's your hobby, the thing you've been looking forward to all month, you've been getting ready for a competition, and then some guy comes in with a camera who's gonna make $10,000 for ruining your day. It's just not a good thing to do to other people. I'm not gonna show all the cop stuff or really them arguing with each other. You know, we clickbaits in the thumbnail like Karen getting angry and everything. Thing when I really think she probably had the right to. I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts. I know I'm ranting a lot more than I normally do in videos, but I saw this channel for the first time and I saw the millions of views and the millions of subscribers that it was bringing in and I honestly thought that we were just kind of past this kind of content on YouTube. I genuinely thought that these kind of videos, these kind of pranks were collectively looked down upon now. Apparently not. Well, what do you guys think? Am I just a stick in the mud? Or do you agree that these videos are not the best. And honestly, let me know if there's another side of Gideon I should see. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. What do you guys think about that in the comments below? I feel like the YouTuber who made this, his name is Duck. Almighty Duck, something like that. But... Nobody's overreacting. Gideon is making his coins and he's not really doing too much. I'm only saying that because he's. He was white then. He was like, oh, it's just a crazy white kid, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comments down below. 
and comment below what else I could react to. Make sure the video is not that long because I don't want to do a reaction video that long. But if it's really that good, that still you can comment down below. Comment YouTubers you want to react to and other video ideas you want to do. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And bye.